Hello again everyone and here I am with the next video on my request list. Sorry my videos are coming through a bit slow but I've been doing lots of other things lately. My tarot readings are really taking off. Um, I really see tarot as an integral part of what I do as a numerologist. So now I'm sort of doing um, readings where I do numerology, life purpose and talents but pull in towards the end more specifics with a tarot reading and I've been doing lots of work on it lots of work on building the service that I'm going to offer to people so my videos have been a little bit slower on the uptake but I'm going to keep going keep pushing forward because I love doing these videos for you guys now this is for someone who is a life path five it's the most important number on their in their chart because it's what they're here to do and their soul urge number or their motivation is what drives them in life so they have a life path five of communication exploration and mastery and a soul urge number which is all about raising people's emotional vibrations with their physical creative emotional activity now these two numbers very linked together they're very creative they're very based on communication so what i like about these two numbers together is this person is here to explore the world as a life path five find their mastery and then communicate that mastery to as many people as possible like an audience and what helps there because all these things that in their life path are going to be difficult for them to achieve but what helps or hinders you are the other numbers in your chart this person is lucky enough or smart enough to bring with them in this lifetime a soul urge of the energy of the three which is all about communication creative emotional communication and this means that this person's heart drive and motivation is really going to assist the five when it comes to communication and expressing to audiences the issue i see looking at these two numbers is being focused enough to be able to develop the mastery that you're here to develop. I mean, soul urge number threes, they love to focus on their own thing, their own creative passion, which is really helpful when it comes to finding the mastery for a life path five. But they can also be a bit inconsistent in their work ethic. A soul urge number three might work one day, but not works at the next. And you know, it might take them quite a while and they're going to achieve things very inconsistently. They might procrastinate because maybe they feel that their creativity is not quite good enough, you know. But the Life Path 5 can be fearful as well and that can hold that communication back. But what we're going to do first of all is we're going to look at what you're here to do as a Life Path 5 and then look at how your heart your soul and your motivation and drive supports but sometimes hinders some of the elements of your life purpose your life path which is your life path basically and don't forget your birthday number links on to your life path as a major sub lesson so whereas the birthday number is not included in this video it is as well as your other numbers in your chart the birthday number is uh, like a major sub lesson of your life path but it's the life path number that is the most important and what i'm focusing on in this video so it's how the life path five and the soul urge number three interact in a numerology chart so life path five your areas of development and things to achieve so this implies and literally means that this isn't necessarily going to be easy for you you came with the life path five because it was the energy of the five that you wanted to develop and improve so you're here to learn as a life path five to make good use of your energy fives can be here there and everywhere shooting their energy all over the place but they're here to use that energy in a more focused driven and disciplined way to experience not only to bravely explore the world and experience and be fearless in that experience with a view to deciding what they love and what they don't love so that they can choose to commit to a passion and a mastery. Now, because you're here to make good use of your energy, to explore, to find your focus and passion and finally your mastery, you, you, you're going to find it difficult to make good use of your energy. You're going to be often quite fearful and unable to experience as much as 
as you should be in this lifetime and as well too scattered at times to underconfident sometimes to actually find that passion and mastery that you're here to find so this isn't supposed to be easy this is your task your real freedom which is what you're here to achieve as well as a five is achieved not via doing what you want not via you know making yourself ill by eating too much or sitting around too much and making yourself unfit it's via disciplined study of your focus and your mastery committing to that focus and mastery especially a 145 and focusing on one passion and mastery uh, uh, for all time or at a time so that you can develop it and deepen it to a more master level then the last end of the life path five they're here to communicate that mastery both written and spoken or artistically communication is a very wide wide thing you can act it you can paint it you can write it you can speak it you can do it in many many ways but it's for the five the written and the spoken verbal mastery is important via social connections and fearless written or verbal performance you know in order to get your mastery out there to others but you've got to learn to be fear fearless not fearful you've got to learn to use your energy in a more focused disciplined way and not be so scattered and you know focusing on too many things at once and then never getting anything achieved you know that's your you know in a nutshell we're going to dig it deeper in a moment your life path five difficulties but your motivation to support your life path your heart your drive your push because if your heart doesn't match what you're here to do you're going to struggle to do what you need to do because you won't want to but luckily and well chosen for you you've chosen the soul urge number three so you're driven to verbally express yourself with positive authentic emotion and creativity to inspire and inform and delight audiences you may desire to be an artist a sculptor a performer a speaker happy in front of an audience enjoying the limelight you dream of this you'd love to do this and you'd be really fulfilled if you were able to express your emotional passionate creative artistry to an audience and create that inspiration and learning and delight that you want your audience to experience you're comfortable with interdependence you like to be that dynamic courageous doer and remember the five is here to be more fearless so the soul urge number three means that you want to be more fearless which is going to help push you to fight against your fears and to become the fearless five you're here to be a courageous doer executor of ideas which helps you to get things done while listening to guidance taking responsibility for your actions you know you want to improve people's lives not like hurt them or in any way so you know you've got to be responsible with what you do what you say the things you create um and you, you want to be that skilled networker out there center of attention social dynamo communicating which is what you're here to do confidently optimistic talkative fun to be around this is all the um the skills that, that you want to have that drive you to act are going to be the skills that you need to develop in the five which is that communication that audience communication whether it be verbal or written or artistic but there's a strong element of communication in your path and the communication of mastery and the soul urge number three to a greater degree are going to help you your heart's going to drive you to walk that path of the five but you know focus and consistent work could be an issue and you know you could be a little bit on the rebellious side when you're a life path with a soul urge that is a three so let's break down the elements of that five because that's the important number and there's lessons within the life path five that we need to really home in on and then look at how the soul urge three is going to help or hinder that process so the five is here to explore first and foremost and that you know that's the reason why they're easily bored they want to look at and study loads of different topics it's like new new information is like shiny things to a five new experience is like shiny things to a five they love varied experience and it, it's all needed especially at first this adventure this this need to experience as much as you possibly can because 
it's all for you to chuck things out and pull things closer and find your mastery, your specialism, because you're here to learn eventually to be disciplined and to continue with one topic or activity beyond the detail of the boredom so that you become the master, the special, the person that knows it all in that area. And that is the main point, as well as communication of you as a life path five, finding your mastery. So your three motivation energy means that your tendency to be easily bored could be exacerbated because the three is very dynamic and creative and they love novelty, doing new adventurous things. And sometimes this inability to focus down onto one thing can be exacerbated by their motivation. They just want to see the next shiny thing, which doesn't help you your life path difficulty of already being attracted to shiny things the soul urge number three says well you know you love shiny things you know it's going to draw you more you love varied experience fun adventure and you really you'll be less motivated to focus on or continue with the boring detail of anything you know, and you kind of need to dig deeper in order to get that mastery. So your heart might not always support you when it comes to digging deeper. It'll, it'll help you when it comes to looking at the world around you. It'll help you when it comes to being excited by all the different opportunities and, and to help you to be fearless with that opportunity. But focus, you might have to use a bit of self-discipline on that. So support your life path five by throwing yourself into deeper and more detailed discipline study of your passion your creative passion and so that you can have that mastery in your life now as I said right at the beginning that's not going to be easy you're going to need self-discipline but you didn't come to this lifetime to sit around and learn nothing it's something that you will maybe have or will develop throughout your lifetime focus detailed discipline towards mastery and at first you're going to need to explore the world to find that passion but don't start focusing until you found your passion your fang something that you can really throw your heart and soul in something you can communicate to others about in order to inspire them and delight them as much as you can you're here to develop the ability to balance variety change and adventure because you know you're here to focus with discipline but that doesn't mean you're here to lose your sense of adventure your sense of fun your your sense of wanting that variety in your life so it's kind of a three-way balancing act for a five balancing your your need for variety and change and adventure with the stability of whatever family you have around you or you've built around you and of course the discipline skill mastery now all three of these are going to need to be fed but I think you're going to find the family and the skill mastery a little bit more difficult especially as a soul urge number three um, the family and this and definitely the skill mastery will be a bit more of an effort okay because as a five, you can be totally spontaneous, take risks, jump from one experience to another, never settling, never progressing, sometimes injuring yourself, getting yourself into trouble. And the soul urge three is going to egg that on because there's three loves all that. Adventure, novelty, fun, getting out there, climbing trees, parachuting off the top. You know, often a life path five with a soul urge three ends up in hospital a lot because they've launched themselves off of something or, you know, done something else scary. But they've had a great time doing it but they've ended up a little bit worse for wear after it or they end up sort of with great sort of even more courage when they manage to do these things they're very adventurous very risk-taking and literally a little bit rebellious I say a little bit Mm, can be very rebellious <laughs> your soul urge three motive energy means that you may struggle to want to balance variety and stability and mastery you're all about the fun you prioritize in your heart variety change adventure fun networking socializing you know it can be quite irresponsible your heart isn't always wanting to to balance the three let's just say that so support your life by five by you know, ensuring that you have that three-way balance. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be something you can do tomorrow. But build and commit to and nurture the people around you. 
you know, uh, in, in your home, it, whether you've had a family or whether it's your, your pre-family, whatever, the people and the friends and the, the relationships that you have around you, nurturing those whilst nurturing your creative passion and discipline and mastery, but then still having, not blocking out your need for adventure and change. And so you need to balance them really to support your life path five. You've got to find balance. Build, commit, and nurture a family. Find, <coughs> excuse me, nurture a family and a and maybe a home whilst nurturing your creative passion and your discipline and having that time to maybe have that time for adventure at least once or twice um, in a period so that you can balance those three. It would um, help your life path five a lot and your emotional health. Because you also need to learn to be extremely intuitive. Access your intuitive wisdom when making decisions, assessing people and situations. And that means listening to the voice within and understanding it, taking notice of it first and foremost, then trusting your intuition, and then top of the pole, acting on your intuitive voice within, even if the world says otherwise. That's what a five is here to do. The three motivation energy means that you prefer really outside experience, emotionally outward focus, la la la, out to the world. So there is, apart from your soul urge making you a bit scattered sometimes, sometimes you might choose to neglect your inner voice with a soul urge three in favour of living by your externally expressed emotions and going out and doing and being in the world rather than taking that time within. So it's, it's going to help your tendency to be scattered and unable to focus as well to take that time not only to listen to the intuitive voice within but to think things through look at your passions how can you focus deeper you know taking that time to yourself is important but as a soul urge three you might choose to neglect that inner voice in favor of living outwardly and expressing and getting being the center of attention doing being seeing thinking you know so again support that life path five by listening to the voice within you listen to it analyze it trust it act on it it's very 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 important take notice of those inner knowings sometimes you might just know sometimes it's a gut feeling sometimes it's a, a little inner voice saying wisdom to you or saying yes do that no do that no don't do that then trust it you've got to trust what you see what you feel what you hear what you know and act on it act on that inner wisdom and make decisions and assess people in situations using that amazing skill it'd be silly to leave your intuition dormant you're here to develop your ability to attain inner and outer freedom and i mean real freedom not just doing what you want and sod the rest by doing things sometimes that you might not want to do in order to gain the freedom that you know you can from that doing what you want is not necessarily freedom this is the thing this is the difficulty children have you're not telling me what to do i'll do what i want you know they can become a slave to their own desires and they think they're doing what they want but if doing what they want is something that they can get addicted to or something that's going to maybe get them put in prison or you know worse killed you know it's not necessarily bringing them for their freedom even though they're doing what they want so the five is very much about understanding the nature of freedom and what it really is your three motivation energy means that you may struggle with this element because you're already a five. You already say, no, I'll do what I want. It's my decision. And, you know, that might be where the rebellion from childhood and into adulthood comes in. The teachers might not have always got you to do what they wanted you to do. But, you know, this is your five. This is I'm free. I'll do what I want. And you haven't necessarily always had um, and may still not have a full grasp on what freedom really is. Um, so your three motivation drive is going to 
exacerbates this a little bit because as a three, you're driven. You want to be free spirited and hedonistic and do what you want and travel around the world with beads around your head. It's an amazing thing for a three to be able to just be free and not be held by routine. Threes don't like routine and, and, and consistency and they like novelty and variety and energy and action and sometimes a bit of irresponsibility, the threes like. So again, you've got to be careful of your rebellious side as a life path five with a soul urge three. You may refuse to do what you what you don't want to do. You know, even if it's good for you, you might cut off your nose to spite your face. You're at risk at putting your liberty and health at risk. You know, if you follow your three and that will exacerbate the five from risky, rebellious actions that can get you injured or ill or even locked up or worse, killed. Um, it's particularly important that you work towards self-discipline um, and, and know that, you know, sometimes you're not necessarily doing what you want deeply, but you know it's going to bring you the freedom and the discipline that you really want, real freedom real dis discipline to support your life path five sometimes we must do what we don't want to achieve real freedom because you know what we want at any given moment that's not wisdom that's just how we're feeling at any given moment i'm hungry i'm thirsty i'm mad i'm happy i'm angry i'm not doing it you know that's not necessarily freedom that is acting on your emotions and your frustrations and you know in a nutshell after all that gabbling it's the five's job to understand the nature of real personal freedom and that real personal freedom cannot really be achieved in a, any real sense without mastery focus and discipline and that means sometimes doing things at times that you don't want to do in the moment and that's going to be hard for you as a soul urge three. So you're also here to learn and develop your verbal and written communication skills. You're, you're here to be a storyteller, whether you do it with your written word or your verbal or even your artistry. You're communicating a message. Now, the five very much focuses on the words, the written word. The many fives develop towards being authors, poets, writers, songwriters speakers on big subjects especially rebellious subjects if you're a five with a soul urge three so developing that verbal and written communication skills towards the charismatic sharing of ideas and stories relating to your specialism and everything around it your social life because you have the potential and the purpose to be a great communicator in whatever medium you decide to use your three motivation energy means that you love to communicate to chat to express yourself to captivate audiences threes love to be the center of attention being creative and inspiring everyone around them you're driven to be verbal emotional artistic and physical in your creative expression and you really are creative across the board and can probably turn your hand emotionally to any of the creative subjects that really get you so for your life path five express and manifest your drive for excellent communication and creativity whether that be words written, spoken, artistic, whether it's through sculpture and art or words or teaching or books, you know, it will support all support your life path five as a form of emotional communication um, that you're working towards the charismatic sharing of ideas and knowledge. And often that's going to be linked to your mastery. You're here to learn to be committed dependable to do what you're saying you're gonna do now th fives can find that difficult doing what they say they're gonna do remembering what they said they're gonna do staying committed staying organized because fives are a little bit adventurous airy fairy and doing all different things and having fun and writing and experiencing so they don't always you know they forget what they promise sometimes because they're so chaotic and scattered and often changeable always looking for that next new experience they don't mean to not follow through and be dependable or committed it's just they literally forget because they've got so many other things coming into them 
So being more committed and dependable is something that the five needs to develop. And again, this is another area where the three, three helps you in many ways when it comes to your soul. But when it comes to being focused, committed, dependable and keep things going, your heart might need a little bit of um, self-discipline, shall we say. Your, your three motivation energy means that any drive for commitment and dependability to others is, is challenging for you when it comes to what you want to do, how your heart drives you because you know being committed and dependable means you've got to think and organize and remember and it restricts and stifles as far as you're concerned your own personal creativity and passion so this is an issue that you know can be something that you have to work through with self-discipline so to support your life path five narrow down your creative interests to one or i put ones which maybe that wasn't the best word to use that you most passionate about then work fluidly and consistently with rest so that you can commit and be dependable to the passion the mastery and the people and the places involved and that's you know being more committed and dependable won't just help your mastery in the world it'll also help your family relations your friendships because, you know, no one likes to be promised something or told something and then be forgotten about. So, you know, being a bit more committed, a bit more dependable, looking outside yourself a little bit more would be really useful to you for you to do. Even though it's something you don't naturally feel you can do and it's not something you're naturally motivated to do. It's another self-discipline thing. You're here to develop your social skills and charisma, to have the potential to be fun, loving, optimistic, center of attention. But you can be as a five quite argumentative, quite uptight. And instead of being fun and happy, go lucky and chatting and inspiring, you can be a little bit uptight and stressed and conflict. Sometimes you can cause conflict or love drama, love to cause drama or be involved in drama. And, you know, this can disrupt things if you're not careful. Your three most motivation energy means that you're driven to be positive you're driven to be fun loving extroverted and to make people laugh and to improve their emotional level so having a soul urge number three is a jolly old soul they want to have fun they want to keep things fun and they don't like miserable rooms you know they love to be social they love to be fun loving and positive and optimistic center of attention singing to their crowds chatting to their crowds talking to their crowds showing things to the people around them networking they just love all that so you're driven to be fun loving and extroverted you want to be the ultimate social creative entertainer commanding attention in a room with your charismatic emotional expression is something you want to do you dream of doing or already love doing depending on what you do in your life so use that drive and motivation to be that fun loving positive and optimistic person that you're here to be and try not to let uh, anger or uptight or argumentative conflict dramas to disrupt the the positive energy that your soul wants to bring so be more fun positive and optimistic to support your life path five and it will really enhance your your charismatic social skills you're here to develop consistent independence because fives they're a bit of a get rich quick scheme kind of person. So that means that they can get involved in get rich quick schemes. And then when it goes right and they're really flush and they've got loads of money, you won't see them for dust. They're off doing their own thing, being all independent. And then they'll do something that loses them all their money, loses them their home. And then they have to run back and then they're dependent again, dependent on you because they've lost everything because of all these quick decisions they make get quick rich quick schemes things they buy and pay for that maybe don't have the lucrative effect that maybe they thought it would risky behavior um it, it can all make you swing as a life path five from dependence to independence and back again and your three motivation energy likes to be dependent so this can actually push you towards dependency taking risks because you know at the end of it it's only going to make you dependent again and you actually quite enjoy 
being dependent. Threes like to be looked after. They'd love nothing more than to have a rich person that funds their life so that they can relax, do their own thing, um, work when they want, express their creativity when they want, socialise when they want. They want the free life. So threes can be driven to sort of go into work a bit late or not work at all and be looked after for as long as possible and this swing that fives have from independence to dependence and back again it, it can be exacerbated a little bit by the three especially when it comes to risk and dependency so you need to have consistent interdependence a balance of independence and dependence but your three motive and motivation energy means that you like to be looked after you choose to work inconsistently you can be resistant of routine work and tasks anything that you consider to be drudgery like that something you've been told to do and this is going to cause problems when you're trying to build your own independence in this world because your drive for excitement adventure risky behavior it's high in all areas of your life so to support your life path five it's important that you start to build your own independent resources towards independence so then you can be interdependent it's not saying never to be dependent again we're all dependent on each other but that you give your balance your share of giving as well as receiving it's giving and receiving in equal measure that makes you interdependent so support your five life path five Build your own resources towards independence. Work more consistently and be aware or seek advice on any risks that you may be tempted to take. Because some risks are good. They help progress you and pull you forward. But some risks are not so good to take. And having some advice on the best ones or accessing that intuitive voice within you that you need to do as a five will all help you work out what risks are worth taking and what risks you should run the hell away from excuse me coughing this morning maybe it's the hay fever the pollen in this sunshine's getting on my throat a little bit now moving on fearlessness fives can be very fearful and they're here to be fearless like a lion like leo the lion and not only be fearless themselves but help others to live fearlessly too they can be fearless as a five but first of all they're going to be fearful of many things restriction boredom to name but a few some some fives read about adventure they watch films about adventure but they're far too fearful to go out themselves and travel the world or to experience new things or to try the things that they like to watch on the tv and it's this fearlessness that a five is here to achieve fives need to challenge themselves and get past your own comfort zone expand your own comfort zone and help expand the comfort zone of others this is what you're here to do remember you're here to be a fearless lion not a fearful mouse your three motive energy motivation energy can't even talk now enhances your drive and passion to be fearless because threes want to be courageous they want to make themselves heard stand their ground um be self-assured, push themselves physically into dangerous pursuits and hobbies. Like I said, this combination of numbers on this video can be prone to do things that either get them in trouble or get them hurt. Um, but, you know, as long as it's part of the learning process, it's, you know, can't be a good thing unless obviously it ends your life. So you can be too fearless when you've got a soul urge three and it can risk, like I said, energy um injury not energy <laughs> incarceration or even loss of life so your love for being fearless can be used it's useful for your life path five when you're here to be fearless but you need boundaries and you need forethought for your safety and others safety you know it's all very well being fearless and doing things fearlessly but you've got to do it with intuitive choice understand what are the best things that I can do? What things are going to kill me or get me in trouble? And what things actually have the potential to propel me forward in a big way? It's understanding the difference when you're acting fearlessly. What's good to do and what's darn right stupid to do, which is really important for this combination of numbers especially. 
Finally, you're here as a scattered five to make good use of your energy and your drive. Because if you feel restricted or underconfident, you're going to be restless and you may turn into a drama queen that, that achieves nothing but negativity and arguments and difficulties and no one gets anything done in the team, the family or the group because there's always drama going on and the five isn't focusing enough on what they're here to do. So it's important that the five develops towards using their energy for experience and adventure and being courageous and then using that when they found their mastery to focus with discipline and communicate that mastery to those around them now that is a lot of energy you get with a five and a lot of energy to make use of so your three motivation energy means that you're driven to experience lots to act courageously and get out there and just do it and not necessarily a planner or an analyzer so things are going to be done if your heart is involved or your motivation is involved very, very spontaneously um, <laughs> and <coughs> it's not necessarily going to be thought out and planned. However, you may choose to work and progress inconsistently, causing restlessness and even more emotional drama if you're not careful. So you need to take care of that. Support your life path five with your drive to do and express with courage and passion and emotional conviction. And you know what? That's going to come even easier to you when you eventually find your mastery, your discipline, your focus in life. Now, you could come to me for a reading. I do long two hour readings, short readings, and I always put a PDF with that reading. Um, you can go for cheaper readings where you just get the PDF or you just have the Zoom call. It's completely up to you how you have your reading done. Um, don't forget, look in the description box because I have got like links to my books, links to my courses on Udemy that I think you'll find really useful. Now, um, I'm going to let you know in a moment about my book that I've just brought out and it adds to the set I'm already doing. I'm not far off finishing my Soul Urge book. So um, what else have I not mentioned? If you just want to ask me a question, request a video, contact me. It's actually better to contact me by email rather than a comment on Facebook because I'm slower at responding to Facebook comments. So you can email me at katie at soulexplorer.net if you want a faster response, okay? Um, so I'm going to pass you on now and show you my books. So I hope you've enjoyed listening to my video today. And just before I go, I just want to let you know some exciting news. My, my beginner book, Remember Your Life Plan, has just been released on Amazon. And this gives you a basic grounding in numerology. It's for beginners and people that are just starting out. And it's good for you to read this before you read my other book so remember your life plan is a be for beginners really gives you a grounding in numerology and it's sort of the level where people would do my foundations of numerology numerology practitioner on udemy so that is my first beginner book and it's just for newbies this one is for people that are more intermediate it provides a deeper analysis of the lessons and challenges of your life path and birthday energies a concise list of your priority and secondary life path tasks and it gives you a deeper understanding and it's longer and more detailed um, analysis for potential numerology readers and then remember your talents again it's an intermediate level course and it provides an analysis of the lessons of your life path with your talent number with your expression number so it shows how good you're going to be at achieving the lessons of your life path and birthday number again a lesson by lesson comparison of your talents to see how easy or difficult each task in your life purpose will be and again it's longer and more detailed and it's more for numerology readers that have a good grounding and if you have a good grounding you might want to take my master practitioner for readers on numerology if you prefer audio visual or you'd like to do both Remember Your Motivations is due out soon. I'm working frantically to try and get this third intermediate book of the trilogy out there for you. And I hope to do that soon. So 
Um, and don't forget, for, if you want a reading from me one-to-one -one over Zoom, just send me an email. You might want a one -to -one, an ongoing one-to-one -one service, in which case you might want to join my channel on YouTube. And if you live in the UK or you're visiting soon, I do shows all over Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire and, and Berkshire sometimes um, with Dear Spirit events. So come to one of our events for a personal reading or just say hello and purchase one of my books. It's completely up to you. So these are my three books and I hope you've enjoyed my video today and get looking on Amazon because I tell you what, to find them quickly, put my name in, Katie Ewers, K-A-T-I-E-Y-O-U-E-R-S. And then my numbers, my books, my numbers, my books come up straight away for you to have a look at. So I hope you enjoy my books and I hope you've enjoyed my video today. See you soon.